Hey guys, just a quick video update about what I've been doing on my university work. Um, I'll try to keep this as short as possible. Since I just made a video of this thinking, yeah, this is great, and it went on for four minutes. Anyway, um, I'm making a, a sort of game in Unity with a bunch of stuff that I'm supposed to do, so i got a bunch of tasks which say include this, include this, include this, include this, and include this and I'm trying to do them all together in one so that's animated textures character control, collision detection, skybox a bunch of things which I'm putting together into one uh, this is the final product it's not really a game but you just move left and right with the arrow keys and you just look at the scenery I guess I uh, don't know what grade I'm going to get, probably a 50. I'd like higher, but whatever. Uh, the conveyor belts in the background are really hard to program. Uh, I made it so that each of these individually are always moving up, and there's a timer counting down from like 4 seconds. And when it gets to 2 seconds, this rotates, and when it gets to 0, it stops rotating and then this, the counter starts again. I don't know if there's an efficient way to do this, but um, it seems to work. Especially the piece of code that rounds up the rotation so that it's always guaranteed to be 90 degrees when it stops. Uh, as you see, I'm in the background right now. I don't intend the, the players to be in the background in the final release of the game or whatever, because otherwise things like this happen. You get clipped, and then you get shot into the air, and then you can sort of, like, ride on the wall in the background, which is, uh, kind of interesting. I mean, obviously you don't have to break the game like this, you can just, I don't know, look at it, but, yeah, uh, I'll be working on this until, like, the 16th when I hand it in. So, you might not see any more videos for a while, but, anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed my work.